This is a very confusing question that occupies many of us, especially in times when we realize that the Earth as our habitat may not last much longer. What lies beyond the boundaries of our observable universe? Does the Great Nothing begin beyond our universe? Or is there another universe perhaps not unlike ours? There are five plausible and yet not provable theories about this big question. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. What is the observable universe? We should first talk about what the observable universe actually is. Then, we can speculate about the afterlife. The observable universe includes all the space we can observe and measure based on the light that reaches us. Our universe is approximately 13,772 billion years old. This means that everything that is further away than light has been able to travel since the beginning of our universe simply has not had enough time to reach us and therefore remains unobservable. There, it is pitch black. The problem is that it is not a technical limitation. It's not that we are not advanced enough with our technology to look beyond this mysterious veil. It's simply a limitation of the speed of light itself, a physical limitation. You could also say that we cannot read a letter that has not yet arrived. Moreover, the universe itself is expanding faster and faster, which means that the mysterious limit is moving further and further away from us. A radio signal from the Earth would technically never be able to reach the border, even if it were to travel infinitely towards the border. But if the universe is constantly expanding, where is it expanding to? If you were flying towards the edge of the universe, what would you see? Theory number one. Outside the universe lies a great emptiness. One theory says that the great beyond of our universe could simply be an infinite, empty emptiness of nothing. The concept of the nothing is frightening, because the nothing is something we simply cannot comprehend. A huge black space is thereby not the nothing, but a huge empty space and therefore something. We cannot comprehend a real nothing because it is not observable and eludes any description. It is the absence of everything. Even more, could an infinite space even exist? As far as we know, everything that exists is finite. Even things that are now apparently infinite are only close to infinity, but never truly infinite. Theory number two, we are in a black hole. Another interesting phenomenon could be a possible answer to our very own universe. Black holes are stellar objects that form when dying stars collapse below their own mass, forming an incredibly dense singularity. Black holes bend space-time itself to such extremes that nothing can escape their gravitational pull at what is defined as the event horizon, not even light. What lies beyond the event horizon of a black hole remains a mystery much like the border of our own universe. What if our universe is embedded in such a black hole? The reason for this is that it seems to expand and pushes its edge further and further out of our reach with every second it passes. So fast that not even light can reach the edge. Perhaps it is the same force that prevents light from escaping a black hole. What we observe as gravitational pull from outside a black hole is an ever-expanding space-time inside, pushing the rim further and further away from everything. In the same way, our universe is expanding. The theoretical physicist Nikodem Poplowski, who was described by Forbes magazine as the next Albert Einstein in 2015, has proposed another interesting theory. Our universe was created by a fraction of a much larger universe that was sucked into a black hole and compressed until it reached an unfathomable, dense state. This nuclear fragment, influenced by the gravitational spin, then exploded violently and formed our present universe as we know it. This nucleus could be the source of our Big Bang. Theories of black holes describe the event horizon as a point where space-time curves faster than light. For this reason, light cannot escape. 
it is not fast enough to reach the edge. The same happens to our own universe. The expansion of the universe itself, space-time, is much faster than the speed of light. So are we trapped in a gigantic black hole? This could also mean that every black hole in our universe can contain other universes. Each of these phenomena can contain a universe that is very similar to our own. And outside our universe could be a much larger universe. We are merely trapped in a black hole inside that universe. Theory number three, outside is only more of the same universe. Another theory that says the part of our universe not yet observable contains more universe, nothing else. More stars, galaxies, and galaxy clusters in an infinitely expanding space. Thus, this theory would also resemble another assumption called multiverse theory. If space is really expanding infinitely, then there must also be infinite repetitions of our own universe, our own planet Earth. In a single infinite universe, there must be an infinite number of Earths somewhere inside. After all, there is a limit to how much you can create with atoms, even if this limit is incomprehensibly high for us. But if our universe is constantly expanding, what does it expand to? If our universe is in the same shape of a balloon that is inflated, it expands on its surface. But this space around the balloon, what is this space? If our universe is a closed loop, what is outside this loop? There must be something else, right? Theory number four, dark flow from outside. If we follow common cosmological models, the propagation of galaxy clusters in our universe should be random due to expansion and inflation. However, Kashlinsky and other scientists have claimed to have found a certain pattern that shows that some parts of the universe are attracted more strongly than others. This pull must be due to a strong force originating outside our observable universe. Originally, it was thought that this unobservable external force could also be a black hole. However, if it were a black hole, the speed of the clusters would accelerate exponentially the closer they came to the black hole. However, their velocity was quite constant, and it seems unlikely that a black hole is the cause of this attraction. Another scientist, Dr. Richard Holman, predicts that this external force could be exerted by another universe that is outside our proximity. These claims are still controversial, but they provide an interesting theory about something powerful lurking outside our universe and have a strong influence on the motion of its expansion. And Dr. Holman's view on this opens the door to another popular theory. Theory number five, our universe is part of a multiverse. One of the more popular theories consists of a multiverse, a collection of countless universes floating side by side in bubbles. Each universe consists of an alternate reality. With this theory and its approach to infinity in mind, it is plausible to say that there is a universe where your life is exactly the same as it is now with the only exception being that you work as a clown. In another universe, you were never born. And again, in another universe, you're a serial killer. The multiverse theory describes all these universes floating side by side in an empty space and separated from each other. Each of these universes contains a different reality, like a bubble. And some people speculate that you could enter another reality through a wormhole or a black hole. This brings us back to the fascinating theory about us, which says that we are stuck in a black hole. Because that would mean that by jumping into another black hole, we could jump into another universe. We will probably never get the right answer to what really lies beyond the universe. Since the universe expands faster than even light can travel, we will probably never reach the boundary or see what lies beyond. Everything outside our universe may remain a mystery long after the end of mankind. And while the current expansion and the passage of time reveal new galaxies and stars whose light is just beginning to reach us, these newly found stars and galaxies will become darker due to the expansion of the universe, as light must travel longer. The most distant stars and galaxies will simply remain invisible. Whether it is a multiverse, a large nothing, or another galaxy outside a black hole, we will probably never know the answer. 
All we have left are speculations and theories about which theory comes close to the truth. What do you think about it? Which theory do you think is most likely? Do you possibly have another theory of your own? Feel free to write us your opinion in the comments.